compaction purpose of compaction compaction is the application of energy to soil to reduce the void ratio this is usually required for fill material and is sometimes used for natural soils compaction reduces settlements and their working loads compaction increases soil strength compaction makes water flow through the soil more difficult that is seepage is less compaction can prevent liquefaction during earthquakes factors affecting the compaction water content of the soil the type of soil being compacted whether it is fine grained or coarse grained or mix or etc the amount of compactive energy used and compactive energy means you will compact with a hammer which falls from a certain height the object of compaction is to reduce voids ratio to increase the dry unit weight the dry unit weight is equal to gamma g of s and gamma w by 1 plus e which is already in the laboratory compaction test there is a mold which is called as proctor mold standard and modified both are there the mold volume is 1000 cc and the hammer mass is for standard is a 2.5 and modified it is 4.9 and hammer drop is 300 mm and 450 mm respectively the hammer the figure is given handle sleeve guide and hammer for compacting soil presentation of results object of compaction is to reduce the void ratio or to increase the dry unit weight in compaction test bulk unit weight and moisture content are measured by using the different moisture contents and uh, for same compacted energy and the dry unit weight may be determined as follows so gamma bulk is equal to gamma bulk is equal to 1 plus weight of water by weight of solids into weight of solids so that by v so 1 plus m into gamma dry so gamma dry is equal to gamma bulk divided by 1 plus moisture content the graph it is drawn between dry unit weight and moisture content from the graph we determine the optimum moisture content m optimum that gives the maximum dry unit weight so it peaks once the moisture content increases the dry unit weight increases and certain limit the dry unit weight decreases so that is the wetting side and the this side is increasing side is dry drying side in the presentation of results to understand the shape of the curve it is helpful to develop a relation between dry unit weight that is gamma dry and the percentage of voids a once if it is done gamma dry unit is equal to 1 minus a by 100 and gs gamma w into g into m plus m so with this we can draw eight voids zero voids curve 90% saturation 80% saturation or 70% saturation accordingly if the soil saturated a is equal to zero gamma dry is equal to right so zero air voids line so 50% saturation 75% saturation and the saturation at now 20% also can be drawn effects of water content adding water at low moisture contents makes it easier for particles to move during compaction to attain the lower voids ratio as a result increasing moisture content is associated with increasing dry unit weight 
as moisture content increases the air content decreases and the soil approaches to 08 volts line the soil reaches a maximum dry unit weight at a optimum moisture content because the shape of the no air voids line is further increases in moisture content have to result in reduction in dry unit weight effect of varying compactive effort dry unit weight with more soil so increasing energy results in an increased maximum dry unit weight and a lower optimum constant there is no unique curve the compaction curve depends on the energy applied use of more energy beyond m optimum has little effect this is standard proctor compaction and modified compaction the modified compaction is used in air fields and all other where the maximum dry density is more effect of soil type that depends on the soil the effect is different well graded sand you can say dry unit weight is 22 kN per meter cube and optimized content 7% sandy clay 19 kN per meter cube and 12% poorly graded sand 18 kN per meter cube and 15% low plasticity clay 18 kN per meter cube and 15% moisture content non plastic silts are 17 kN per meter cube and 17% of moisture content optimum high plasticity clay 15 kN per meter cube and 25% of mag optimum moisture content gs is the constant therefore increasing maximum dry density unit weight is associated with decreasing the optimum moisture content do not use typical values for design as soil is highly variable the dry density of the soil is increased by compaction the increase in dry density depends upon the following factors water content at low water content the soil is stiff and offers more resistance to the compaction if the water content increases the soil particle club lubricated the dry density of the soil increases with increase in water content up to certain limit amount of compaction the effect of increase in the amount of compaction effort is to increase the maximum dry density and decrease the optimum moisture content type of soil the dry density depends on the type of soil if the quantity of fine soil increases maximum dry density value decreases method of compaction dry density value depends on the method of compaction for the same amount of compactive effect the dry density value is more in heavy compaction or modified proctor test compared to light compaction at mixes the compaction cast soil are improved by adding other material known as mixes most commonly add mixes or lime cement or bitumen etc effect of compaction on properties of soil soil structure the water content at which the soil is compacted plays an important role in the soil structure the soil compacted at water content less than the optimum moisture content has foculated structure the soil compacted at water content more than the optimum moisture content it disperses structure permeability permeability of soil depends on size of voids permeability in soil decreases with increasing effort of compaction swelling the soil compacted dry of optimum moisture content has low water content it imbibes more water than the sample compacted wet of the optimum and hence more swelling poor water pressure the sample compacted dry of optimum has a low water content the poor water pressure developed for the soil compacted dry of the optimum is therefore less than that for the same soil compacted wet of the optimum shrinkage 
the soil compacted dry optimum shrink less on drying compared with the ground at a wet optimum and the water content in case of dry optimum is very less compared to wet optimum compressibility the stable structure developed on the dry of the optimum offers great resistance towards compressibility compared to wet of the optimum stress strain relationship the soil compacted in dry optimum have steeper stress strain curve than those of wet side the modulus of elasticity for the soil compacted dry of the optimum is high the soil compacted at y of optimum have relatively flatter stress strain curve as corresponding to lower values of the modulus of elasticity shear strength at a given water content the shear strength of the soil increases with the increase in effort of compaction till the critical stage is reached